This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh. Welcome along to the session. This session is all about exercise seven, which was on decision making using the if and else statement. So question one, you're asked to write a script file that asks the user for the input of a number and then returns the natural logarithm of that number if the number is positive and otherwise displays an error message. So the first thing we're going to do is write a script file and start it in the usual way with some comments at the top and then go and define our variable dictionary. So the first thing that's going to go into the variable dictionary is a variable to hold the input from the user. So we'll call that x. And our other variable is going to be um, a variable to hold the result of the log calculation. And we'll just call that result. So the first proper bit of code in our script is going to be a line using the input statement to gather the number from the user. So we'll assign that to the variable we talked about, x, and we'll prompt the user using a string of text. And now we have to decide how to handle the user's input. So we're going to use an if-else statement to test if the user input is a positive number. And if it is, we'll do the log of it. And if it's not, we'll display an error message. So we simply do if x, which is our input, is greater than 0. Then we want to actually compute the natural logarithm. And we'll display the result of that calculation using the disp function. And as we've done before, we're going to use the num to string function to firstly convert our input number into a string and then our result number into a string. And that's the first part of the if statement. Now we have else. So if our number is not positive, we just want to display an error message. And again, we'll use the disp function to do that. And we always end our if-else statements with an end command. So now we'll save the script file and test it. So it works fine for a positive number, and now we'll test for something less than zero. And that displays our error message. So question two is all about writing a function to determine the total cost for hiring a rental car. So as usual, we'll open a new M file, and we'll write the function definition along with some comments at the top of the file. So the two things that are going to go in our variable dictionary are the inputs to the function, which is the number of kilometers, and the output from the function, which is the cost. So we're told if the distance traveled is less than or equal to 100 kilometers, then the cost per kilometer is 50 pence. And that's the first condition that we're going to put into our if statement. So if number of kilometers 
is less than or equal to 100. Then the cost is equal to the number of kilometers times 0.5. Now we'll use else if. And the next part of the problem is that for the next 200 kilometers, the cost is 30 pence. So if the number of kilometers is less than or equal to 300, then the cost equals first 100 kilometers at 50 pence plus the number of kilometers minus 100, which gives us the next 200 kilometers, and that costs 30 pence per kilometer. And finally, we're, we're told that all kilometers in excess of 300 should cost 20 pence. So that will go in our else condition. So the cost again is the first 100 at 50 pence, the next 200 at 30 pence, and the total number minus what we've calculated, which is 300, and that's going to be charged at 20 pence. And remembering to end our if, else, if, else statement. So now we're ready to save our function and test it. So first of all, we'll try 100 kilometers. And MATLAB's just telling us that we've got an error in our function. So we can click to see where that is. And that's because we've not included an addition sign in the last part of our else statement. So we'll do that and just save it again. And now run the function. So that's correctly telling us that for 100 kilometers, the cost is going to be 50 pounds. So now we can test for 200 kilometers. In fact, before we do that, we're going to clear the command window. And that's returning a cost of 80 pounds, which is also correct. So finally, we'll check for 500 kilometers. This production is copyright, the University of Edinburgh.